will win this matchup? I think uh, I, I'm going to take Ramsey, but a lot is predicated on that front four. A lot of times when you see a one-on-one -on -one matchup, Skip, we automatically think it's, it's just between those two guys. But one guy's offensive line, the other guy's defensive line need to do their job in order for you to do your job. Um, the thing is, you can't give Gronk a steady diet of anything. You can't say, I'm just going to press him the entire game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need to press him some. Mm -hmm. You need to play off some. You can't play off all the time because Tom Brady just raise up, throw him the ball, and then you got heck on your hands trying to bring that big guy down. We, we could feather or what we call shadowing. Line up in a press position. And just don't let him get, get his hands on you so he can grab you and throw you around. But just stay, you know, shadowing. You know, every once in a while, have the linebacker run up underneath him, uh, doubling, doubling, double him up. Mm -hmm. um, but if you give Tom Brady a steady diet of, okay, this is the way they're going to play Gronk. He'll pick you apart. Mm -hmm. So you have to do a lot of different things. <clears throat> and the thing is, we've seen Gronk lose his cool. We saw it against Buffalo, Skip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy held him, got an interception. Gronk didn't like it because he had felt he had been being held all the time. Mm -hmm. Officials weren't calling it. And he lashed out, hit the guy, and he ended up getting suspended. And what, what position did that guy play? Corner. Tredavious White. Yeah. First round pick, late first round. So Bless you. the thing is with Gronk, I don't think mm -hmm. Gronk is much of a talker. And this is what I always tell guys. You got to be true to who you are. If you talk, keep it going. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. don't get into a ball game with a talker and feel you've got to try and out-talk him. Mm -hmm. His game is predicated on that. Some guys Skip, can play and talk. Some guys can just talk. Some guys just play. Pick your lane, stay in there, keep it moving. And if Gronk, if this is not who you are talking back and forth, if you don't talk back and forth, don't get caught up in what Jalen Ramsey said because Jalen's going to talk. Yeah. That's what these guys from Florida State, a lot of these guys from Florida State, that's what they do. Mm. Now, time wasn't much of a talker. but what, that, that is true. He didn't talk. But nobody was talking to him either because mm -mm. you was already going to talking about Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Yeah. You, you didn't want these problems. No. You didn't want that smoke. So, for me, I think Jalen Ramsey will get the better of this matchup. And plus, we get to see his theory put to the test. He says the analytics show That's what he said. that when the corners cover Rob Gronkowski, he's next to nothing. Yeah. He, he said he has, quote, unquote, a very bad game. Mm. Okay. Yikes. So now Jalen Ramsey thinks he's one of the top two or three corners in all of football. He gets to go against Rob Gronkowski, the guy that he says that when you put a, court, a, a cornerback mm. on him, Mm, doesn't do very much. Mm -hmm. So we got a top three corner going against the best tight end in all of football. We get an opportunity to see. Mm. You get to put the data to the test, Jalen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be watching. Mm. I'm going to be watching that game. Scale. world will be watching. Oh, no, I got to watch that game real yeah. close because, you know, one guy plays the position that I play. I know that position very well. Mm, interesting. So I'm going to give, at least on Thursday, Jalen Ramsey the edge in this because I have nothing but respect for him as a football player because he just might be the best corner mm -hmm. in pro football. Mm. Okay. He's big, strong, fast. Mm -hmm. He's bigger than Dion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he is capable of backing his, his trash talk up in this right. case. And I think mostly he will have the advantage in this matchup. I don't know how many times he'll actually get him single, but, but I think a bunch. Right. And, and I think he will mostly back it up. So I believe he spoke the truth about their analytics. I just didn't love it that he spoke it. Right. Mm. Because Interesting. when you go all the way to – he has very bad games. That's a little exaggeration <laughs> yeah, yeah. because I'm not sure Gronkowski ever has a really bad game. Right. Really, he was saying in general, any time a corner's been on him, he's had a really bad game. Especially not when he finishes the game healthy. Maybe if he gets Nick skipped. So, as you know, there's something to letting sleeping dogs lie. There's something to leaving it unsaid. If you think you have an advantage, don't reveal it. Yeah. Don't let them try to fix it, right? right? Correct. Because as we speak, Tom Brady's trying to fix it. He's right. trying to plug that leak, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That, that hole. And to me, this is sort of today's kids. Everybody's look at me. Everybody's on social media. But to me, Jalen Ramsey is trying to do exactly what Richard Sherman did about, I don't know, was it six, seven years ago? Mm -hmm. Richard Sherman brilliantly tried to speak himself into national existence, right? Mm -hmm. Because he just picked out all the biggest targets and he went after them mm -hmm. and he was very good at it, but he was very selective because he made sure he would go after them after they had played. You right. know, there, there wasn't a lot of pre stuff. Jalen's the opposite. Jalen's taken on the biggest targets in his sport, mostly quarterbacks mm -hmm. and Gronkowski. And now he's got to go back it up because it's future. It's right. coming back at him. 
And I think he loves it because he's talked his way onto magazine covers, yeah. right. right? Has he not become a household NFL name that he was not? He's, he's the go-to guy when you want information. Right? <laughs> well, because he does speak a lot of truth. Mm-hmm. He's and, one for one now, Skip, because right. what do you say about Eli? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so he's one for one right, right now. So Rob Gronkowski is volatile, man. I mean, he comes off as this happy-go-lucky galoot in these yep. interviews, yep. but you know he's got one loose screw because we saw it against Davis White because he mm. he lost it, man. Yeah, he did. Just for a second, he lost it. That was a corner covering him. Right. The corner grabbed him and held him and pushed him, and, you know, it, it was a foul on the play, yeah. and so he just went over the edge because it's a corner. And so he's going to get a lot of corner right in his face, right. a lot of talk right in his face. So the, the point, is, the difference between Rob Gronkowski and his quarterback is – Gronk has a little trouble channeling his rage because right. you have to channel it into your right. performance. The quarterback, on the other hand, that's one cape you don't tug on. That's one cage you do not rattle because he has mastered the art of channeling rage, right. which is why I call him Psycho Tom. He doesn't look like Psycho Tom. He certainly doesn't come across as Psycho Tom in any interview. Yeah. But all of a sudden, <laughs> he will lose it on the field in a good way. Right. And if by chance he does get Gronk loose for a touchdown, I promise you the first guy in the end zone to congratulate Gronk and headbutt him will be number 12. Mm. And he will also be the first guy to turn to Jalen Ramsey and tell him all about it, what just happened. I hope Gronk doesn't give him a a concussion headbutt him because they're going to be very, very very happy. Skip, Mm -hmm. you remember in the Super Bowl uh, and that kneel down situation, Gronk got into it with some of the Seattle and Gronk was like, Everybody else was throwing punches. I'm like, what the hell? I might as well start throwing punches also. (laughs) That's true. But the the thing is, Skip, is that the ultimate sign of respect, and I felt it as an insult if a team didn't put their best cover guy Mm -hmm. on me. Yeah. So for them to bring Jalen Ramsey and say, the Gronk, we have the utmost respect for you. Mm We're going to give you our best. Mm -hmm. And that is Jalen Ramsey. Gronk will view that as a sign of respect. He will be on his best behavior. You mm-hmm. better believe you're going to get the best Rob Gronkowski. Mm-hmm. So what you thought you saw last week against the Houston Texans, you'll get even a better version of that this week against mm-hmm. Jalen Ramsey. Now, Tom, when you got it, when you got that guy throwing you the ball, he's going to make sure he's going to give him some opportunity. He so, will try. Yes, he will try to figure it out yes. before the game, and yes. he will try to execute, even if he just gets him one yes. good time. Yes. That's what Tom Brady lives for. That's yeah. what he's playing for right and, now. And you know what? Hey, we're going to make you fight through some picks. Mm-hmm. They might even stack Rob Gronkowski. They'll put him in motion. Because when you put the, excuse mm-hmm. me, when you put the guy in motion, Skip, and you see Jalen Ramsey, yeah. I know his man. So you Tom, do? Tom Brady wants You're his, right. They will do that. Tom Brady sure. wants as much information pre-snap as mm-hmm. he can possibly get. Yep. And the more information you give him, the more likely he's going to bust you up. So, Jalen, you got your hands full, bro. You said that when you put a corner on Rob Gronkowski, mm. he has very bad games. Mm. Now, bro, mm. you better not have no bad games. Mm. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying, Jalen, don't have no bad games because I got to come here on Monday mm-hmm. and I got to tell it. Mm. I got to tell it. But you have all the information and not once have you ever busted. Uh, it. I don't know. Skip, I don't get it. That hashtag be trending. Uh-huh. Bus skip up, be trending. People David. are laughing. No, they're not. Yeah. They already know. It I should get. be hashtag crack skip up because it makes me laugh, right? <laughs> no, that's good. You can start using that on Instagram. No, 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 you no. Know, you're what crack me up? Well, yeah. just hashtags. You have to use those. Oh, for you Instagram. do. I don't. Yeah, I've never used later. the hashtag in my life. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's you a had skill one to of the debate against me I, in I did your use life. One. 